morning Facebook Live. Sorry that we're very, very late today, but we had church already. So we had praise and worship. We opened up in prayer. We had praise and worship. And then the Holy Spirit moved because we invited him in. And it's the fire. It's the fire. And, I, you know, I'm not going to preach long because you know what? <laughs> when the Holy Spirit tells, tells the pastor, go sit down and let me move it out of my way. I'm like, okay. So I got out of his way, and he moved. And then when he said, now go, now go. See, because he needs to do stuff first. He needs to do stuff first. Thank you, Jesus. Well, when you pray for his fire and his glory, it comes. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Expecting someone to text me to keep me posted on certain things. Okay. <clears throat> Last time I preached before Pastor John preached, talked about Jesus the gift. Jesus is the gift. And our New Year's message is Jesus is the gift, and what are we doing with it? What are we doing with that gift? What do we do with the gift of Jesus that he freely gave us? If he freely gave us a gift, what are we supposed to do with it? Give it out to others. You know, God, I don't know, he's wrecking me. It's fine, it's fine. We, we kind of had church, I'm kind of like, all right, I'm done, I wanna go home now. I, I'm done. We're done. Because you know what? Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta know what the Holy Spirit wants you to do. But he wants, I have in my notes, I want. And the Lord is saying, no, he wants. He wants in his presence church to have this. This is the start of a new year. It's the start of a new year, 2023. And, and I've already been hearing from people, this hasn't started off very well. This hasn't started off very well. But you know what the Lord wants? What does he want? He wants us to go into this and keep going into this, recognizing with what we do with the gift of Jesus. And he doesn't want us to stop. And I've been a part of a, a prayer and fasting uh, group over this past week, and fasting is great because fasting really what it does is it, it aligns you. It gets you focused. Nothing gets you more focused than on having food in your tummy. And um, and and one and, and and I am so grateful. I am so grateful for Apostle Ryan Lestrange, and I'm so grateful for his team. Every person that he has on his team is so anointed and so beautiful and precious. Um, it's an honor to be a part of that family. And I, like, it is, it is. I just, like, I feel like I'm just like the little bystander, just like kind of watching and just learning. And, and I just, I don't know, I'm just enjoying myself so much. But what are we doing with this gospel message for his children? What are we doing? You know, the Lord's been correcting me so much that I said, we're in such a dark area. We're in such a dark area. And when the Father has to say, so be the light, Maria, be the light. Be the light. Be the light. We're the light in this dark world. We're the light in this dark time. I want to share something with the new generation. And by new generation, the young ones that he's calling into the ministry. And even some of us that aren't that young that he's calling into the ministry or he's called into the ministry. The gift of Jesus is too precious for us to not share. That's number one. And the Father, this move is going to be different than all the past moves. I mean, the Holy Spirit moves and he moves and he does what he, he does. And whether he's got you down on the floor, because, you know, we don't do courtesy falls here. We only go under the, the unction of the Holy Spirit. Because you could hurt yourself, right? And um, 
And so the Holy Spirit moves the way he wants to move. The Father is saying, some of you have been holding back. You've been holding back in your calling, in your destiny, because you don't want to miss out on things. And the Father is saying, don't worry about that. Because what he has in store for you is so much better. So much better. You're going to live a life of fullness and joy and peace and prosperity because that's what the Father has for you. Is anyone a millionaire in this room yet? I'm not. Is anyone else a millionaire yet in this room? Has anyone hit it rich and I don't know about it? Because I haven't either. But it's coming. But it's coming. And you want to know what the, I now this during this this move this morning, the father said, Maria, do you see now? Do you see why this little church has been boom, boom? I mean, even this week, I'm like, Lord, please, I need a break. I need a break. I can't. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, Father. I'm so tired. And 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 today, the father said, Maria, do you see why? Do you see why? Because this little church, which isn't that tiny, they're all part of the fivefold. So we're all called to be ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? Amen. Well, you're all called into the fivefold. That's why it's been so bad. That's why it's been so hard. You know, because what happens when you guys really start walking in your call? You've already been trained. And how many training tapes can we show y'all? How many like good meat and potato messages can you hear? You haven't gotten milk. Good Lord. Pastor Linda gave you milk for about two to three weeks and then she was putting y'all on baby food. And then she was cutting up the meat and the plates and you guys were having, you were having meat. She was a forerunner. She was a forerunner all day long. All day long. I love being in his presence. Mm -hmm. Oh, how many of you feel better now than when you came in this morning? See, some of you, you just, you know, you've known, you've known. Pastor Linda prophesied over you. People came in here prophesied over you. And then the father says, tell them they're sitting on their giftings. You know, when that stupid song, will, will the real Slim Shady please stand up, please stand up, is I'm getting doing my hair. Now, Slim Shady, that's not a godly song. Well, I'm like, Lord, come on, stop it with that song. Maybe you're Slim Shady and will you please stand up? Will you please stand up? Stand up and run with the gospel. If you're a healing evangelist, would you pray for the sick? Come on, if you're a prophet of God, open your mouth and start speaking life to people. If you're a deliverance minister, get the deliverance that you need first because that's what you got to go through. I did. It feels good. It feels good to be delivered. If you're a worshiper, worship, worship. If you're a writer, write, write. So what the father wants to say, am I out of the camera range? Colby's like, you got to back off. You get too close. Then we only get this down to here. I said, oh, we can't have that. <laughs> we don't want that. So I'm, sh I'm, sh I'm 4 11. Well, Probably for a ten and a half now. But I started shrinking a little. But I'm big in the spirit. I am big in the spirit. I'm big in the spirit. You young ones, your ministry is going to look different 
than it has looked for us. But we need to jump on board with this too. No longer is it pastors behind the pulpits. I'm telling you, I know this by the Spirit. I know it by the Spirit. How many times have I said, if I gotta throw that pulpit away, I'll do it. This thing gets in the way. And it gets in the way because some people want it and don't know the cost of that thing. And then it gets in the way because some people don't want it and they don't want to give up. Do you see what I'm saying? So don't worry about that. I'm not being disrespectful to the pulpit. That's not what I'm doing. But he's going to be doing marketplace ministry. Do you know what that is? You might be an apostle. You might be an evangelist. You might be a prophet. You might be a preacher. You might be a teacher. But you're going to be out in the business world. You're going to be working. And you're going to be doing your job for Jesus. Out. Do you see what I'm saying? I know this. I know this in my spirit. See, because they're not all going to walk in the store. Right? Right? They're not going to walk in. How many people have we invited? They're not here. And I, and I thank God for Facebook. I do. I thank God for Facebook. I thank God for that tool. Sue and I were saying yesterday at a funeral, we had a funeral yesterday, and we were saying, Pastor Linda was before her time. I'm telling you with certain things. She was doing those little Facebook lives before she passed away. So when COVID hit, we were already... We were ready. We were prepared. We didn't have to uh, crumble. We've been prepared. I'm not even preaching the message because he is the message. Mm -hmm. He's the message. And here I am. And if the Lord tells me, go sit down for a couple of minutes. Go sit down. Get out of my way. Let me move. Okay. You think he's humbling us and he's just kind of like, get out of my way. Let me work. Let me work. Let me do what I can do. Some of y'all humans, you make a big mess and then daddy's got to clean up a bigger mess. Do you see what I'm saying? By no accident, my sister bought Joyce Meyer's book for me, Me and My Big Mouth. And then she said, did you read it yet? No. We'll open it up. Because this thing used to, she said, this is your greatest gift. And it's your biggest curse. <clears throat> she wasn't wrong. You know, I grew up with my sister as my teacher, my pastor. You know, I had to hear, get thee behind me, Satan. I sat under a leader who corrected me and said, sit down, sit, sit, okay. I don't know, Father. I feel like I should give them the scripture. Second Chronicles 7, 1. When Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. See, you and I are glory carriers. See, that was Old Testament. 
that was before Jesus. How much more under the new covenant are we supposed to be carrying his glory? You know the scripture that tells us that his glory will cover the earth and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. April. Now. Did you ever think your first prophetic word was going to be now? Now. And not your first prophetic word, but publicly. She's so shy. Stop sitting on your hand, says the Father. The glory of the Lord fills the temple. But you remember in the book of Acts when they were in the upper room and the Holy Spirit came down like tongues of fire? God likes fire. He's a consuming fire. And so he filled them with the Holy Spirit and in fire. He empowered them. And then the early church, they got that they were the glory carriers. They went out and preached, and the church grew by thousands. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are the glory carriers. We can't sit on our blessed assurance anymore. We can't just sit here. We got to get up and go. We got to get up and go. When? Now. Now is the time, says the Lord. Now. His glory out. Go bring his glory out. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just lift up every person that's watching on Facebook, YouTube later. Let them know, Father, that they first and foremost have to come to you and just receive you. And it's as simple as just crying out, Jesus. Just call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. You and your household, says the Lord, says his word, says his word. Call out on Jesus and he promises to be there for you. Be saved, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would fill every single person in this room afresh. They're already baptized in the Holy Spirit, but afresh and new. And if they're not, then you will get them. cuties in here. Fill them, Father. Fill them. Fill them. Fill them. Fill them. Fill them. Fill them. To overflowing with your Holy Spirit. And then the Father says, tell them to go. So the glory covers the earth. How's the glory going to cover the earth? With us. Amen? Amen. What are we going to do? We're going to move. This is a movement of God. Let's jump on the party train and move. Amen? Amen? Amen. Be blessed.